This programme is brought to you by Mental Art and Products Deep Heat and Deep Freeze and Willie McLernan at Farmer Otter Care, official sponsors of East Kilbride FC TV. Welcome along to Netherdale. It's the home of Galaferry Rovers, but it is a Lowland League Cup final day and a bit of deja vu because this was the ground 12 months ago where East Kilbride took on Gretna 2008. Fast forward 12 months, it's the same two opposition in the final once again. East Kilbride defeated Cumbernauld Colts by two goals now last weekend. Gretna with a tight 1 0 victory over Spartans. That's why we are back in the with both these two sides as they're coming out. Head off, kick off in just a couple of minutes' time. Well, looking at East Kilbride, first of all, and well, Barry Russell back in, captain in the side, alongside David Proctor, who's got a taste of this cup final. A little bit light on the bench, but there's plenty of quality in show up front, and Brady and Hastings the duo that will be leading the line today. For Gretna 2008, well, Ian Anderson scored the equaliser at the time last year in the cup final. He is on the bench today. Connor Graham scored the winner against Spartans, and he is starts today. And it's a, a side that have caused one or two problems this season for East Kilbride and the noisy side of Stuart Rowe's team. Referee is Craig Napier and we're off and underway for the Lonely Cup final for 2016. Calls free kick. Early chances punched away by Parker. Level start. McBride's corner. Again, it's punched by Parker and that flamboyant kit. Winter trying to get a shot away. Miller was there too. A bit of pressure there was Addison and now here's Hastings. Drags that a little bit. came through. There's a little shove by Howie. No says the referee. He had to make the save on the snapshot. Coming together there. Hastings on the floor. Singles the captain. And uh, yeah, uh, number five is booked by the referee Craig Napier. Call to take and a million miles away, but always going wide. Winter trying to control. Try to take them all on. Strong challenge is an advantage, and no, it isn't. Rhea this time with the uh, tackle, which was rather heavy. His turn to get a yellow card, not really a good time in two of your defenders on yellow cards in this first half. Call to take this again. Again, just always going over a little bit wide. Winter trying to get by Aikinson. Hardy. Oh, it's a good chance, and McBride, it's. I don't know if the top of the crossbar actually. There's a young lad, DK mascot today. Young Cody, being with the squad for most of the season, travelling and watching the games. Sure, he's racked up a bit of homework to do. Brady. Winter. And it's off the crossbar again, Craig Hastings. I thought he was going to tap it in. Astonishing. Swung 
again and it was Russell, good to see him back involved. Russell sizing up the shots. McBride for Brady, Hastings making the run. Brady goes for himself and had to be parried round the post by Parker. Right corner again. Russell in there. One or two claims for handball. Now he's trying to get a shot in. Free kick goes in the right. Might be a clip in there. I think nothing in that, I don't think. Hard to tell that scramble. Aikinson with the free kick for Gretna 2008. Flicked on and there's a chance. Big chance for Scott Norman. And Yago's searching for Addison. That's half time though. No goals, but a live goal encounter between these two. Not too many clear cut chances in the game. I could have given it a little bit more towards the end of the first half. To Iki, maybe just for the slight better of it, but fairly even Stevens, 0 0 at the break in the cup final. It's, we're off and underway then for the second half. Of course, Gretna in the black and white traditional kits today. Iki did play in white last season's final. Now forward comes Gavin Miller. Taking them all on. Here's Winter! Not bad try. Oh, and it's a slip here in his yard. Now recovered by Proctor. And the smash from Dan Anderson. But at the end, and there's the header from Proctor, not far away. The strength of the path of the keeper. Here's Brady. He things back to Brady. Here's Winter. Winter! That's why that was a good chance, another good chance for an East Coast ride. Still searching for the winner here, and Russell's put himself under pressure. Clearance wasn't good and through. Comes Anderson. Couldn't do anything with it. The man that scored equaliser in last season's final. And here comes Hastings. Ria hoping he doesn't profit, trying to recover. Block comes in from Ria. Miller. And we'll happily take the corner off Ria. Wasn't going to find Winter that. Winter back there though to collect and has to go. Easy enough for, him for Vincent Parker. Call leaves it for McBride. It's curled in. Again, straight into the keeper's hands. Brady forward. Here's Miller. Good chance. Thank you, Miller. Good enough. Okay, Lumpton. Oh, and it's in, is it? Yes. Oh, the referee has pulled it back offside the call. Daniel Wads thought he'd given great in the lead with 10 to play. Well, whipped in. Oh, and it's a good chance again. There's been plenty of those for both sides. Proctor. Policy for McBride. Spectacular effort. 
Chance is coming in thick and fast now for both teams. Hardy. Winter is going to stay in here. Hardy in the pick up, he does. And there's the crossbar, smashed by McDonald. And who told her? And there's a couple of nicks off Woodwork in the first half, and that was the chance to win it in the 91st minute. Off the sub. Still the last chance, the second half. McBride in again. And it's flapped away by Parker. Corner from McBride. And that's not going to come to anything. And that is game over in terms of 90 minutes. And we're going to have extra time here, a bit different to the game last year where East Coast were opening up the champagne with a 3 1 victory after 90 minutes. We're going to have another 30 here to sort this one out. 0 0 here at full time at Netherdale. And it is Isco Bride to get us going for the first period of extra time. That's a clatter. Forty goes by Akinson. Russell on the next trying to get it away. Donald there too. It's sliced by Russell. Chance for coming through for Conor Graham. Brady right in the mix and had to be skiffed away by Blake. Anderson doing well to win it back. Now Brady coming in and steals it off Reynard. But Brady's getting the hold of able to run here. He can't quite find the ball for McBride. After 15 minutes, it's been lively. The tiredness not really creeping in because the chances are still coming here, but still no goals in this one. <laughs> 15 to go then. He's going to know how to win penalties, did so. Another cut competition against Enver City. Daniel Wood with a throw, it's cleared away, tried to win, held back, and Anderson there! And a big, big moment for him in this extra time period. Russell's drive, it's been held over the post, across the fence, over the rugby pitch for three points for Gala, I think. Another Kelby corner. He's going to up the pressure in this second half and another not bad effort. Yeah, some managers to spin away here. Hardy did enough to put him off. Go kick. McBride once more, still waiting for the elusive winner. Winter up there again. Muscle forward. Left for Brady. Oh, it's another one off the post. And there's Winter's header. That's four times now in counting. And that was right near the death. That would have won it in the 121st minute. And that is the final whistle of extra time. I'm mean, lucky if Kelby had been with uh, Woodwork. Great enough, had one or two chances themselves, but I suspect Kelby just had the slight better of it over the 120 minutes, but no goals. And it's penalty shootout time. Kelby done it. And, uh, anyway, it's Edinburgh City in another cup competition. Jacob Keane was a hero that day. Is he going to pull out a save or two here? Stuart Romo wants some revenge after last season's final. We're about to get underway then for the 
shootout. Captain's kick first up for East Kilbride. Barry Russell against Vincent Parker. Keegan appear. The referee just making sure everything's ready. Russell to step up. Oh, it's saved by Parker. And an excellent save by the legs. Not the best of penalties. Advantage Gretna early on. Dean Ria then. Against Jacob Keane. It's Rhea. And Keane makes the save. And it's nil nil after the first round of penalties. One one to the keepers. Winter looking to get East Kilbride off the board. Sean Winter. And he scores 1 0. Kelby in front. Finally got a ball hit in the back there at the counts this afternoon. Connor Graham who scored the goal to take Gretna to the final. His turn to step up. A King Taylor, superb save! And going a little bit game as well. But a big, big advantage now to Kelby. McBride. It's his turn. This to give EK a two goal advantage in the shootout. McBride. Oh, it's in off the post. People went the wrong way. The lock. And they all count if they cross the line. Sonic continue, he needs to score for Gretna if they've got any hope here in the shootout. I can't go three without scoring. Keen on the hat trick here, of course, of saves. And there's a concern. And it's smashed on that left post as well. And they are on the board, 2 1. And Tom Brady, who we believe is heading for Passers New. Signed for Queen's Park, so this would be fitting. Didn't quite do it at the end of extra time, but could score a potential with his final touch in an East Kilbride jersey to help BK win the only cup. And he does so. 3 1 in the shootout. It could be a fitting farewell for Anton Brady, who scored the decisive and Finaliser and last season final to make it 3 1. Here's Anderson and he smashes it into the roof of the net. Confident penalty for 3 2. But Tower, it was a pressure kick for Anderson. This is the pressure kick to win the only cup. Final penalty. And it is for Bernard Cole, BJ's is nicknamed. Bernard Cole, yeah! Cup winner! They've done it again! Do the penalties this season against the same opposition as they did last campaign? Treble as well. It's trebles all round. The qualifying cup, East of Scotland qualifying cup, East of Scotland Cup final. Spartan and Berwick were dispatched. And now Gretna in penalties. Last 16 in the Scottish Cup against Celtic as well. A quite extraordinary campaign. And the build will be for next season for the league campaign. Edinburgh City have done so well to get themselves up to the SPFL. Great achievement for them, I'm sure East Kilby echo that. Now it's their turn to try and finish in top spot and get up. Ambition of the club, I'm sure, with a lot of clubs in the Royal League. But they've got the cups away in the cabinet. Now it's time to build with Martin Walker that's came in for the final chunk of the season 
So Ogilvy will take plenty of credit for this season as well, of course, with the Celtic run and winning that final against Spartans. Gretna, the losers today, if you can call them that. It was nil-nil after all, after 120 minutes penalties. It's just one of those things. What about this man, David Proctor, coming down to the blade. He's going to take some silverware. He's joining in. All well, the young lads involved, Jacob Keane, two penalty shootouts to start in this campaign. He's been utilised in the cups. But here is the main man. Came down from Stranraer, him and John Winter into the whole league. And it's the third trophy left of the season. Don't break the trophy, Barry, for goodness sake. And here's to next season. It's the end of another campaign. Kelby with the treble from all the East Coast FC TV team. Thanks for your company throughout the journey. It's bye from all of us from Netherdale.